so hot in so hot in her so hot in wonderful it is sweltering in the great southern land you might notice my forehead in this video getting progressively more shiny um it's bloody boiling out here Mingle above, what's going on? I'm Max Draper, aka Anikus Finch, aka Ghost One the Human Gorilla, aka Trop the Boss, aka uh, Steve Bashimi's biggest fan. Um, and I'm here to talk about the year that I've just had. I'm here to talk about the year that I hopefully will have um, and just kind of, you know, have a bit of a chat, a bit of a one on one. Um, so today is the last day of 2018. Um, so, you know. Except not really, because I'm recording this on the 30th so that I can edit it on the 31st so that I can actually get it out on time and still like do things that night. So this video is just going to be talking about, you know, the music that I've made over the past year, because today or tomorrow is not only the day that I'm releasing my newest project, Michelangelo, but it's also exactly one year since I released Leonardo, my first project as Anikus Finch and the first thing I've ever completely produced, written, recorded, everything myself. And I think a lot has happened along the way. It's been amazing. Over the past year, I've, you know, I've done live shows, I've, I've done live show, but I've been getting back on stage, which is the main thing. Um, you know, I've released Raphael in total, um, including Michelangelo. I've released three projects over the past 12 months and 10 tracks, including remixes and all of that outside of those projects. I've really been pushing myself this year and hopefully next year I can continue to do that. So over the next year, I'm hoping to have bettered myself and one up myself from there. One of my goals over the next year is to not release Donatello, the fourth installment of this project. What these are for me, these sort of like Turtles artist projects, are markers for my progress as an artist and like how good I've gotten at writing lyrics, at recording myself, at making beats. And every single one of them, if you ask me, is better quality than the one that came before it. And so I want Donatello to be the ultimate accumulation of everything that I've learned and I don't want to rush it out. Because every single one of these projects, including Michelangelo to a lesser extent, I've listened back over and I've thought to myself, this isn't the best it could possibly be. Not that they're bad, apart from Leonardo and most of Raphael, but they're just not what I think I could be making if I really, you know, put time into wrapping my head around things. But at the same time, I've set myself these six month goals for these first three projects because I wanted them to be these markers of what I've learned over six months. So when it comes to Donatello, I want to give it the full time. Out of the Ninja Turtles, Donatello is my favorite. Um, and so I want him to be kind of this focused, this crafted project that really is an expression of who I am and what I can do as an artist. I don't want to skimp on that. So I want to be making music over the next year. I want to be filming more of these videos. I'm not saying one a week or one a month or anything like that, just more of them because I love this. I love talking to the camera and I love putting it out there and giving you guys a little bit more of an insight into who I am because I think it's really important as an artist that I'm not just bearing myself uh, musically and through my main form of art, but that you people know who I am um, on a bit of a deeper level than that. You know, that you might be able to see me on the street and say, hey, you're Anakis Finch. Not that anyone would ever recognize me because um, I'm a nobody. But regardless, like, I, I want to be able to have that sort of connection with you guys that you can see that I am a real person um, and not a vocaloid. So uh, outside of music and outside of making more videos, one of my goals for next year is to make more music videos because I had so much fun with the last one and it was such a great experience. And while it wasn't huge, it did gain a little bit of traction. I did get a few new fans from it. So not only was it fun, but it was really productive. Um, and you know, it was just a really good move. So I would love to make more of those. The other thing that I have planned for next year, which is probably the most terrifying thing out of all of them, without a doubt, actually. Um, in March next year, <sighs> I'm gonna be dyeing my hair blonde. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get- Now I'm not just gonna be doing this for fun or anything like that. Um, I'm gonna be doing it to raise money for the Cancer Council through the world's greatest shave. Um, I have shaved my head twice in the past um, and I feel like it's kind of just lost its charm. You know, I'm not scared of shaving my head. I've shown that 
So I thought I would challenge myself a bit by dyeing my hair. I've never dyed my hair before. And being an Asian man, my hair is very dark. So it's going to look awful. It's going to look terrible. So this upcoming year should be really prosperous for me creatively. Um, should be really prosperous for me through my music, through video, through collaboration, um, hopefully through my luscious locks. But before we get into the year that's going to be, I need to cap off the year that has been by giving out some thank yous to the people who have helped me along the way. So first, I want to thank Tim, Jack and Harry. Um, they're the three guys that worked on the music video for I Feel Bad Already for me. Um, and they were fantastic. Not only were they super fun to work with and really passionate about what they do, but they also made an excellent final product. And I want to thank them for giving the song that I was passionate about the kind of shine that I felt the video deserved. They've been really good at keeping in contact with me and talking about uh, prospective videos for songs that I've released or songs that I'm about to release. They're just, they're just really good guys overall. So I, I want to give a, a sincere thank you out to them, you boys, you're amazing. I'm going to chuck all of their socials in the description below, by the way. Uh, I also want to give a huge thanks to some of my frequent collaborators. Um, so for starters, RZL and Bako, um, thank you so much for, for working with me over the past year and I look forward to working more in the years to come, whether it's on my music or your music or whatever. Uh, these guys, you know, it's been amazing to watch them as younger creators come up and develop their own style and, you know, work on that and refine that and come out the other side stronger than they were at the start of the year and watching them to continue to develop and knock down milestones. RZL kills it on SoundCloud. I'll link all of that in the description as well. The next people I want to thank are Luke Jones and Steph D'Antonio. They're two musicians that I've worked with over the past year. Um, Luke Jones, you might know from this shredding guitar solo. And Steph provided the keys on this track from Michelangelo. Which, if you haven't listened to yet, you absolutely should. What are you doing with your life? Get out there, listen to it. Now, go. Listen to it. Um, Luke, I've known for years, like a majority of my life. Um, and at the moment, he's rocking out with a band called Torbrick. He's a huge loser, but I still hang out with him for whatever reason. So I'll link him in the description below. Um, and Steph is another young artist who's just an amazing pianist and really cool to work with. Um, so I'll link her in the description below as well. I also want to thank uh, Thneist, uh, who has been one of my frequent collaborators over the past year. Um, he's a producer and he has the worst hair in the game, but some pretty, some pretty fire beats. Um, so I'll definitely drop him in the description below. You know, if you're looking for someone to work with prospectively, um, producer wise, I would definitely check him out. You know, he does some amazing stuff. He's really passionate about it. Disclaimer, he's my little brother, so I might be biased, um, but he's also my biggest hater. Um, but I love him, so it's fine. Last but not least, I want to thank um, my friends and family, obviously. I feel like you can't have a thank you speech without saying it, but it's so true. You know, the guys who have, you know, always been following my stuff from the time that it drops, the people who have always been there for me when I needed it, and the people who I've always been able to vent or come to for advice. But especially being in a musical family, you know, guys like my dad, my older brothers, they've always been really good to be able to go to and just, you know, get what I need from that. I also want to say thank you to all of you guys, The Charm, um, and if you don't know what The Charm is, strap yourself in, baby. The Charm is a republic currently in the process of gaining independence from the Commonwealth of Australia. We occupy a small area of land in Victoria, and we will soon be recognised by the United Nations as one of the most powerful naval forces in the world, even though we are landlocked. If you do want to be part of The Charm, all you have to do is click the subscribe button down below, go follow me on Spotify, check out my merch, um, which you can find on my website or on my merch store at Teespring, both of which will be linked below. Um, if you want to know what that looks like, it looks like this beautiful piece of clothing. So on the front is the nunchuck emblem from Michelangelo and on the back is some, um, some ancient Norse ruins uh, that I found written on a ship in Scandinavia that are yet to be deciphered. It would mean the world to me if you could do all of that because it makes it easier for me to be able to make these videos. It makes it easier for me to be able to make more music. It makes it easier for me to become a supreme world leader of an independent country because these are the things that 
I'm really interested in and I really care about. I love music and I love being creative and I would love to be able to make full-time money off you know, this incredibly insecure industry. I'd also like to be considered a warlord and feared by all those who hear my name. So thank you so much. I've been Max Draper. I've been Anarchist Finch. I've been Ghost on the Human Gorilla. I've been Troth the Boss. And I have been a smaller version of Danny DeVito. And I'll see you in the next video. No wonder you'll look on me on repeat. Here's the meat of it. Back to the bone with your beats. And I keep on to see you in the street. And I'm watching as you flutter by. I can't handle the heat. Then get off of my Spotify.